everyone, thank you for joining me to a new video by Original Video Reviews. I'm the OVR guy and as you can see we have here a new package. As always we're going to find out together what's inside and how to use this thing. So let's not waste any time, let me grab the Swiss knife, here's the Swiss knife and we're going to unpackage it. Solo mode. Left channel. Right channel. Right channel. Stereo. Boys and girls, what we have here is the AudioCast M5 Wi-Fi audio streamer. In my recent videos, I focused on home automation, also known as smart home devices, and the AudioCast can also be labeled under this category as part of the Internet of Things trend. Basically, what this device does is to stream audio from your computer, smartphone, or tablet to available speakers that it's connected to. You can stream to the AudioCast either audio files or use streaming services such as Spotify, Pandora, TuneIn, etc. The audio will be streamed wirelessly to the audio system or speakers that are connected to the device and you can even connect several audio cast streamers together to audio outputs in your environment. Each one is connected to a specific speaker or audio system and you can choose to stream audio to only one of them, some of them or all of them at the same time. I want to clarify that the audio cast receives the audio content but cannot transmit audio and you can plug it to speakers, soundbar and this sort of audio outputs. Unlike previous audio receivers that I reviewed in the past, especially the Empower Streambot Touch Bluetooth audio receiver that looks very similar to the AudioCast M5, this one works using a Wi-Fi connection and not a Bluetooth connection, so if you want to compare it with a similar device, then I would advise you to do that with the Chromecast Audio by Google. The AudioCast came inside a compact square paper box that is very detailed and contained along the device itself a USB to micro USB cable that is 1.5 meters long to power the audio cast. The audio cast input is 5 volts 1 ampere and please note that it doesn't have a built-in battery so while it works it should be connected to the power source for it to work. Also you get a 3.5 to 3.5 mm cable that is 1 meter long to connect to the speaker or the audio system that the audio cast will stream audio to. You also get a user manual in English and in the description to this video you can find a link to that if you want to take a look at it. Now let's take a closer look at the audio cast audio streamer. As you can see it's black and made from plastic, from the top it looks like a vinyl record thanks to its rounded shape, it's a compact device that fits the palm of my hand and I can tell you that it's light as it weighs less than 100 grams. The charging cable goes in here and when it's plugged to the electricity you'll see a blue LED indicator. The 3.5mm cable goes in here and on the side is located a WPS button which I will explain about in several moments. 
to operate the AudioCast, you need to download the AudioCast app to your smartphone or tablet, as the app is available to both Android and iOS devices. Or you can use iTunes if you want to control the AudioCast from your computer, regardless if it runs Windows or iOS. All the relevant links to download the app appear in the description to this video. There are several ways to set up the AudioCast, my favorite is using the app. You need to be connected to the Wi-Fi network, then choose to add a device and press the WPS button to configure the device. If you need to insert a password to connect the AudioCast to the Wi-Fi network, then you should insert the Wi-Fi network's password. If everything goes well, the AudioCast will be connected to the Wi-Fi network. After setting the first AudioCast streamer, if you'll choose adding to the app more AudioCast streamers, then you won't have to insert the password once again. Another method to set up the AudioCast with your Wi-Fi network is by connecting directly to the AudioCast and defining it using a web browser. To do that, open the Wi-Fi networks, where you'll find the specific Wi-Fi network for the AudioCast itself. Then enter in the URL address the following address. Now you should define the normal Wi-Fi network that the AudioCast will connect to and enter the Wi-Fi network's password. While turning on the AudioCast, it takes several moments until it connects to the Wi-Fi network and appears as an available device. Searching for Wi-Fi connection. When the AudioCast is turned on, you'll hear a lady's voice that will prompt its actions, such as when it's connecting to the Wi-Fi network, etc. You only need to define the AudioCast once to your Wi-Fi network, so if you disconnect it, the setup will be saved the next time you'll turn it on. To reset the device, press the WPS button for 5 to 8 seconds or define in the device settings from the app itself to restore it to the factory settings. Now let's go to the bottom line. The best thing about the audio cast is that the quality of the audio output is by far superior compared to other audio streamers such as FM and Bluetooth receivers that probably will be cheaper because the audio is streamed through a Wi-Fi connection. Setting up the audio cast is very easy and controlling it using the app is not complicated at all. In this video review I decided to focus more on the audio cast itself and less on the app because the app mainly operates as a media player and other than that it offers several useful features that allows you to set the audio cast as an alarm clock and set a sleep timer for the device. When playing audio it takes the audio cast several moments to load but after that I didn't encounter any delay or disturbances in the sound. The most useful feature here is that you can play audio from the speakers in any sort of combination that you can come up with. I managed to play the same music from both streamers at the same time, I played two different audio tracks simultaneously, one from each streamer, and I bet you can do so much more with it. This is why I believe that if you'll get to play with the audio cast then you'll be amazed how it works. So this device has lots of potential in it and the moment you'll realize what it does you'll probably will appreciate it, assuming you're doing one of the following. Following. Either you listen to audio files that are saved on your computer, smartphone or tablet, or if you're using certain audio streaming services that the AudioCast supports. Personally speaking, my audio streaming habits currently includes Amazon Audible and of course YouTube which you must play the video even if you only want to listen to it. The AudioCast doesn't support them, at least as for now, and for me it's a bit of a problem because it means that either me or the AudioCast must change. I also learned that if I want to use certain streaming services, I'm required to install the designated app to use the AudioCast. I wish it was possible with YouTube or with Audible, but once again, so far this is not the case. So either I will have to begin using the supported audio streaming services, or that the list of supported services will increase as time goes by. Either one of these scenarios is possible, but no matter what will happen, I promise to update you about any changes in the description to this video. Well boys and girls, this was my video review about the AudioCast M5 Wi-Fi audio streamer. For further information about this item, please check the description to the video. And if you still have any questions about it, please comment on this video and I will do my best to come up with an answer. If this video review was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to like this video. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channels, OVR Fashion. OVR Kids and of course this channel original video reviews and there's also the Facebook page and the Google Plus page and the Twitter account and the Instagram account so there's plenty ways for you to follow original video reviews. I would like to thank you for watching, 
another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye bye!